Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Zach P. You guys can call me Hazardous. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel. In today's Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video, we're going to be taking a look at the grenades, the lethal and tactical equipment of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And I'm going to talk to you guys about these things. I can only talk about these actual equipment. I can't throw up any images on the screen except for the thumbnail. I can't show any gameplay of this except, you know, because I don't have any Infinite Warfare gameplay to begin with. But I do apologize about not coming out with that many videos this week. I've just been so busy studying for tests and everything. And I still need to do that because this weekend isn't over so I want to make this video for you guys just to get it out there just so you guys know because I am trying to cover everything Infinite Warfare before the beta comes out and before the actual vanilla game releases we still have the epic weapons to cover and the weapon perks so we still will be diving into that in future videos but for this video we're just gonna be going over the Infinite Warfare equipment so to start off with the lethal grenades we have the cluster grenade which is a cookable grenade that explodes into a series of smaller blasts and we have the plasma grenade which is a stick grenade that sprays burning plasma in all directions Next up, we have a Seeker Grenade, which is an autonomous sticky device that seeks out nearby enemies and explodes. We have the Trip Mine, which returns from other Call of Duties like Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, which is a magnetic mine that detonates when an enemy interrupts the beam. We have an Exploding Drone, which is a launched aerial drone that explodes on impact or remotely with R1 slash RB or by double tapping Square X. So that's basically the C4 of the game. And we have the Flechette Grenade, which splits into multiple propelled grenades on impact. We have the Black Hole Projector, and it creates a singularity that pulls and enemies with crushing force. We have a black hole in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, a black hole grenade. That is absolutely insane. Next up, we have the Bio Spike, which is a thrown ballistic knife that explodes on enemy impact and can be recovered after use. And then, oh, it turns out they do have C4, which is, of course, a high explosive that sticks to surfaces and can be detonated remotely with R1 or RB by or by double tapping square or X. Now, moving on to the tactical grenades, which just aren't lethal. You throw them with uh, LB or L1, and these just help you out with your team. And, like, you know, they're like stuns and flash and stuff if you're not familiar none of these are offensive or actually fatal but we have the personal radar which is an activated sensor array that tracks enemy location by heat signature i feel like that's going to be overused we have the jammer grenade which the jams the enemy minimap and aiming systems and it's effective against equipment we have the dome shield which doesn't have a description i'm sorry i guess it's more like a riot shield maybe we'll have to see next up we have the cyro mine cryo mine or it's it's a magnetic mine that releases a super coolant hindering movement systems then we have the smoke grenade creates a smoke screen that blocks vision automatic targeting systems that's been in the game you know since call of duty 4 then we have the blackout grenade which is a grenade that stuns enemies causing vision and hearing loss and then finally the adrenaline drip which is a quick heal and you can get back in the fight faster so i feel like the personal radar which is a personal uav essentially and the adrenaline drip are going to be the most op i'm hoping the adrenaline drip isn't super overpowered like the nomad rejack was in the black ops 3 beta because that was crazy but i would like to see some gameplay of that in the call of duty infinite warfare beta before the game releases so let me know what you guys think about all these lethal and tactical grenades and all the infinite warfare equipment down in the comments section below let me know what you guys think about this if you guys you know really have a distaste for any of the things i'm describing here i kind of went through it kind of quickly but you're always welcome to rewatch the video to listen to the descriptions further and of course you could do some research online yourself that is what i would recommend if you want to get all the infinite warfare news but also if you guys do subscribe to my channel and just in case you guys are new youtube has changed their terms of service and all this stuff so if you do subscribe hit that bell and then when you click on it it should say highlight or all click all all to receive my videos because all my videos won't show up in your sub box only a select few will so if you click all you will see all of my videos that I upload all of my new videos that I upload in your sub box so I definitely recommend that if you want to hit the subscribe button I thank you guys so much for watching drop a like if you guys enjoyed have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next video adios amigos